If you are looking for somewhere to celebrate, like the Irish, pack up the family and head to Old Town Arvada coming up this weekend. Now, Joe Henslinger is joining us this morning to give us a taste of the festivities. We've got a lot happening to celebrate our St. Patrick's Day in Arvada, but things are shifting up just a little bit. Things are, yes. um, you know, if you've been to Old Town Arvada for St. Patrick's Day in the past, yes. you know that it is the best street festival that you could possibly go right. to. Live music, libations, great vendors, great businesses. Um, unfortunately, this year with concerns around COVID-19 and falling in line with public health officials, other communities, um, we have had to cancel this year's Old Town Arvada St. Patrick's Day Festival. Right. But there is a lot still to do, lots of great businesses to check out. So let's go over those details because Absolutely. you gotta do something on St. Patrick's yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our businesses are still there. Old Town is still a great place to celebrate mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day. And you can do this in a way to get out of the house, put some green on, enjoy the day and not have to be in a ginormous crowd. Yeah. So, you know, if you're healthy, you know, Old Town's a great place to be. So yeah, we, we, we brought a few things with us here. All right, walk us through and tell us what's gonna be going on. Cause a lot of this is going into restaurants, local businesses, products. Absolutely, yeah, our businesses love to celebrate St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day. They love to get in the spirit of it. Um, so, you know, we'll, many of them will be offering corned beef and hash or yes. corned beef and cabbage, um, you know, schoolhouse, Grandview Tavern, Breadwinners Cafe, um, you know, and more just they all get in the spirit of that. Right. Um, but then of course you have your more unique options, um, things that are a little bit different. So right here we have uh, from Cereal Box, which is Love this great family-friendly restaurant, right? Yes. Um, so this is the Feelin' Lucky cereal mix. Um, it's got some Lucky Charms in there. It comes with the Irish cookie, green milk, of course. Of course. Um, they've also gone ahead and put together these great kind of uh, cereal Chex Mix Oreo Little St. dipped Pat treats. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, they're fantastic. I love those. And you brought yeah. some beer with us, well, or with course. you as well. Right, because it's not St. Patrick's Day without beer. Yep. Um, and, you know, we're so lucky in Old Town. We have great breweries. Mm -hmm. we, we have some new image. And, of course, Denver Beer Company, um, an elevated seltzer. And can, can I talk about this big guy that's sitting right there? I think we should, because okay. I was checking this one out. Yeah, so this is Big Patty's Irish Stout, right? Um, and this is a limited release. It's going to be released tomorrow in the tap room and different beer company is doing a hundred crawlers of that. Oh, fun. So if you come down, you can get in on your crawler. That being said, it is going to be on tap all week. So, you know, or until it runs out, right? right? So, you know, for me, green beer is fantastic, but it's St. Patrick's Day. I want an Irish stout. Yeah. That being said, you like green beer? There's plenty of that too. Do what you want. You can yeah. find some green beer. So what kind of family activities you guys got going on in Old Town? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Family activities. Um, so there's, you know, very family friendly businesses. We've talked cereal box. Let's talk about uh, Into the Fire. It's a paint your own pottery studio. Oh, so kids can come down, families can come down, paint their own pottery. They're gonna have a ton of St. Patrick's Day themed, um, you know, little pieces that you can do. Uh -huh. And then after that, head over to Scrumptious. Scrumptious does have their uh, St. Patrick's Day ice cream that they release. So nice little candy ice cream shop right there on Grandview Avenue. Yeah. And I mean, and so many places in Old Town, restaurants, breweries, they're family friendly. Especially Cereal Box, that's one of my faves. And Absolutely. the nicest people down there too. So what about parking? If we wanna come down to Old Town and maybe we're not living in the area, give us some parking tips. Well, there is always street parking, mm -hmm. but it fills up. And I always say the best bet is come to the Old Town Parking Hub. Mm -hmm. It sits just south of Grandview, so if you're coming up Wadsworth Bypass, get off on Old Wadsworth, come right up, and then before you hit the railroad tracks, pull right in, and so there's generally parking in there, and that's always the safest bet. Wonderful, and mm -hmm. if you're coming in from other areas, you can actually use RTD, because the new take rail the lines take you right, right into. Yep, we exactly. love it. All right. Last and finally, where can we find out more info about Old Town Arvada in general and all this fun stuff that we have going on? Well, yeah, definitely follow us on social. We have our Instagram page, we have our Facebook page, Old Town Arvada CO. But then, of course, you can always go to uh, www.oldtownarvada.org and that will have, um, you know, updates on current events and what's coming up for the summer as well. Awesome. Well, it is one of the most beautiful places in all of the Denver metro area. I love it. Thank you. So if you still want to get your green on while exercising an abundance of caution and not, not offering a full-blown festival going on in Arvada, many of those businesses are celebrating St. Patty's Day Old Town style. It'll be a beautiful weekend to head to Arvada. So visit oldtownarvada.org for more info on what's happening coming up this spring.